The idea that there even is such a thing as a complete or an incomplete protein is about this far away from being a total myth. And I'm going to prove it to you. So what even is a complete protein? Well, most define a complete protein as a food that contains all nine of the essential amino acids. Well, I have great news. Every single food on the planet has all nine essential amino acids. And I'll say it again because I know it sounds almost unbelievable. Every single food, minus oil, sugar, hyper-processed foods, have all nine essential amino acids. So where did this come from? Okay, so a book that came out in 1971 called Diet for a Small Planet, which has been debunked about a thousand different ways, It was one of the first to popularize this concept of a complete or an incomplete protein. So why do we still talk about it? Well, we do live in a society that is so far removed from our food that we go to the grocery store. And if on the box of the groceries that we are purchasing, if it says something like good source of protein or complete protein, it will result in higher sales. This is marketing. It is marketing. So I have a concept to introduce you to, which is if you eat enough, you get enough. I mean, bottom line, if all foods on the planet contain protein and all foods on the planet contain all nine essential amino acids, if you eat enough, you get enough. And I already know some people are going to say, oh, but some foods might have a little bit lower of like one particular amino acid or whatever it is. That's normal. That's totally fine. You still don't have to worry about it. You know why? You're not just going to eat the one food. But you know, it's funny. I even looked into this a little bit deeper. Like one of the most common foods that's labeled as an incomplete protein is black beans. And they say, oh, you need to complement it with other foods to make it complete, which is not true. If you ate enough black beans to get all of your calories from just black beans, you know what your amino acid profile looks like? Here, let me show you. Not low in a single amino acid. And I even went as far as to look at like green onions, which by the way, you have to eat like a thousand green onions, so don't do this, but this is what that profile looks like. Not low in a single amino acid. Go even further, let's look at black pepper. Not low in a single amino acid. If you eat enough, you will get enough. And just to make sure that you're not low in anything, don't eat just one food. There you go. Complete proteins are a total myth.